Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? Sherry here from No Facts Giving Crew. How's it going? So um, this is going to be a twin flame reading for the 2nd of April until the 12th. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly do the draw for the Patreon. Um, this is to win a deck of cards. So I have all the names here in the bag. All right. Trent, Riggler. So you want a deck of NFGC cards. So I'm going to email you uh, through Patreon. Um, and if he doesn't claim his prize, I guess by the end of the week, I will um, do the draw again. So let me just leave that out. Okay, so Twin Flame Reading. Yeah, I think I'll just do a regular Twin Flame reading. Alright. Give the clarifiers a little shuffle here. So if you want to order my cards, you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmail.com. I uh, cut them myself. I make the boxes myself. Um, and uh, so that also includes shipping. So as of yesterday, um, the cost of a reading and the cards have gone up to 120. All right. So I think we'll use Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. I want to make sure they're upright. I've got them upside down. Okay, we'll use this for the union energy. Okay, and I think we'll use the Tarot Illuminati. So a special thanks to Melanie from Whole Again 1111 and Lisa from um, Love Revolution with Dr. V uh, for featuring my cards on their channel. I love you guys. Uh, Lisa and I also did a collaboration video as well if you guys wanted to check that out. So that was my first time, you know, collaborating but also being on camera with somebody else and um, doing a reading that way. So I don't normally do that. So it was a really good experience for me. Enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so I think we'll use this for the masculine side. And the witch's tarot for the feminine side. All right, so let's begin with the overall energy. So forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So the uh, both aspects are gonna be in this healing energy for the next, for the coming um, week. So the past is gonna be coming up quite a bit. Um, you did this, you did that kind of thing, and then a healing, ultimately, forgiving and letting go. Okay, so it's in the feminine's past position, Ace of Cups. So this card comes with conditions. You need to love yourself. 
you need to be able to be alone um, you know and just have love in your heart unconditional love for everyone and that's when love will open the door so the feminine has been giving love um, and this could be you know connecting with somebody new as well but it's starting a new phase so I'm just gonna pull a clarifier Wow 1111 card so we got four or five elevens here so the feminine recognizes her twin flame um, and she's just been open to love so I'm gonna use some clarifiers here just to clarify <laughs> All right, so what do you mean by these two cards? Foresight, nice. So there's a major sense of peace here that she's being guided on the right path. Um, she's allowing love to come to her, but she also sees in the future how, you know, everything will play out the way it's supposed to and she may also be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities like 11 11 on the clock that is um, really solidifying that in her mind what's in the past for the masculine the knight of swords so the knight of swords is a very chaotic energy he's a champion he fights for justice um, so he comes in very quickly and, you know, says what he needs to say, uh, cuts away um, challenges, obstacles, that kind of thing. And, but he leaves just as quick. So let's see what that's about. Five of Cups. So the masculine has been really struggling with his emotions. Uh, he doesn't know which way to turn. Uh, mourning loss, you know, that's feeling, feeling a lot of pain in your heart, feeling attached to something, um, but, you know, unable to let it go. So the masculine's energy is quite the opposite of the feminine in the past. Support. So, you know, there's this feeling with the Five of Cups that he's alone. He's, um, you know, he's lost something in his life. And so with the support card there, you know, he feels that he's got no one to reach out to. You know, he feels like he cut the cord. Um, he's cut his ties. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the present position for the feminine is Eight of Swords. Okay, so she's still struggling with some mental stuff. You know, she is free to walk out of that mental prison. It's all an illusion. The rock star. So what I'm seeing here is just spirit saying, you know, you are the rock star. You're not controlled. You're not um, a prisoner. So rise up. Be who you're supposed to be. someone new. I kind of felt like maybe there was something going on in the past, somebody new, maybe a new interest, love interest, and they're kind of like, well, no, you know, I, I know in my heart that I'm on the right path. Um, and then here with someone new, it's, you know, you know, and this could be just somebody who's triggering her, somebody who um, is promising her the world, um, but she knows it is a trap, perhaps, or she has to realize it's a, a trap. Let's see what the rest of the reading says. Present position for the masculine. Temperance. Thank God. <laughs> Because there is so much chaos and pain and sorrow. So temperance, he's found balance in his life. He's able to temper, you know, his 
life balance, the spiritual with the emotional, with the, your mental and physical. Give a lot of himself, but spread it out evenly. There's that Knight of Swords again. So he's really struggling with a lot of changes that are happening in his external world, but where there was pain and felt he felt like he had nobody to reach out to, now he's kind of sitting down and wanting to talk things out, um, you know, having meaningful conversations with people around him to find that balance within his life. Fake, he has no time for fake people. Right. Um, I feel that the air uh, suit, they're, they see through people. They see um, fake people. They, they, um, they don't put up with bullshit. So I'm going to pull one more card here. Decisions. So maybe there is a vampire, like an energy vampire around him that he needs to release. But things have calmed down for him. Near future for the feminine is justice. Very nice. So she's taken off the blindfold. She's released herself from that prison. And here we have the feminine being represented as justice, as karmic justice. You know, um, feeling like she's had a sense of satisfaction from a judgment of some kind okay they both want to come there's that ace of cups again and the nine of swords came along with it so we have a progression from the eight to the nine of swords uh, and with the ace of cups along with it you know that new love or someone new is causing a lot of mental turmoil and I feel that there you know it comes to an end soon there is resolution her maybe some of you out there were worrying that maybe he was having an affair with somebody you may learn or discover a truth flying high so her fly, flying high her flying high you know but the one love card that's all about feeling weightless having that love in your heart and just feel like you're you know floating on cloud nine you know, so, you know, it could be somebody outside of the Twin Flame connection that has really been toying with the feminine's um, mental state. She has love in her heart, but she, you know, the nine is a conclusion of that. The, the 11 over here, justice, oh, I just noticed 11 and then uh, another one. So there's three 11s up here. So, what was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, I, I can't remember, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's some kind of resolution. She discovers the truth. Okay, near future for the masculine. Seven of Cups, and uh, I'm sorry if the camera shuts off. I've been having issues with my memory. So the Seven of Cups. Again, more confusion, having so many options and not knowing which way to go, what option to take. But the doors are open. He is organizing the chaos into a form that he can clearly see. Okay, I got this road, this road, or this road. Uh, but so he's, he needs to make a decision, you know, what he thought was real, a reality, is in fact an illusion. It's fake. So making decision is the forefront of his mind. So the death card is 
uh, cutting something out of your life, ending something that's no longer serving you, something that's been weighing you down, and so that you can rise, you know, from the chrysalis like a butterfly. Be the teacher. So what I'm feeling with that is he just, he organizes his thoughts and just makes that decision. He needs to cut something out of his life, but he takes it, like he comes at it from this logical um, understanding fatherly like stance. You know, he's teaching somebody why he needs to, to make this decision and uh, end something. Okay, what is the feminine bringing into the union? True love, yeah. Uh, I think she's realizing that, you know, there's only one masculine for her. It's almost like she's being tempted on some level. This is a romance of a lifetime. Yeah, there's that foresight, that long-term committed connection with the retirement card. It's that long term goal achieved so again repeating you know I I know what my true love is um, and I'm, I'm solid I'm I'm here for the long term restoration so she's you remember the overall energy is forgiving and learning so what I see is her giving the masculine the sense of rebuilding, um, forgiving, reconnecting. What's the masculine bringing in? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So even though there's a lot of changes happening on the masculine side, he's trying desperately to find balance and make decisions but in terms of the connection itself, he is exuding this energy of attraction, of positivity, of desire. Throat chakra, so he wants to say something. And or that he could be attracted to the feminine because there is a feminine on the card and there is a lot of positive twin flame energy you know which could be prompting him to say something there's you know the two knights of swords over there is about communication as well dead end he's realizing you know I need to make a completely new life and turn my energy towards the positive things in my life so he, and it, it seems to me he makes that decision in the near future. Okay, and so what's at the foundation is release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So, you know, the, the, we got the two aces of cups over here, which is that new start, someone new. So the eight of swords could be pointing to karmic energy. Um, but I feel that both aspects ha are really making major strides towards letting go of their exes or karmic partners. So the dark night of the soul for the feminine, cutting away, ending, um, ne you know, cutting away negative people. Uh, negative situations but this is what's being brought into the union so she may have made some decisions to to stop communication or stop moving forward on some level um, in order for the masculine maybe to release the ex or vice versa the masculines bring in the king of fire so this is somebody who takes charge very powerful their leaders um, they make changes, they want to change the world, right? So he, you can see this energetic phase coming from the past that's still playing a part in his life. 
um, but it seems to me like he really made a decision to also cut somebody out of their life. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so what's at the heart? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there's this movement of the souls together, desire to come together, to get away, to enjoy some time alone. At the heart, there's a desire to connect. The Ten of Wands and the Ice King. Okay, the mass or the feminine. Um, I'm not seeing the King of Swords as being the Ice King, as in unemotional. I'm seeing this as a clarity about the connection and making decisions, knowing the future, having that foresight, that crystal clarity um, about the Twin Flame connection and wanting to communicate about possibly getting together. The masculine is bringing in the Ten of Wands, a lot of tens. Um, so the Ten of Wands is exhaustion, um, but it's an end of that phase. So at the heart, he needs to get away. He needs to um, say something about reconnecting, possibly. All right, so what is in the future? What do they want? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Again, forgiving. So they want to reach out and forgive and heal and connect. Um, have, you know, meaningful conversations. The Knight of Cups and the Queen of Fire. So the feminine... She wants that healing, but it's like she wants the masculine to come to her. You know, this is somebody who is the life of the party. She's the center of attention. You know, she wants to be somebody. So she wants to move into this energetic phase of power instead of being lost in... in can, you know, in the mind or feeling locked out of something in order to heal the connection. And that's why the justice card is coming up in the near future. There is a resolution, restoration, healing. Um, he's bringing in the Knight of Cups, so he wants to move forward with love in his heart and offer his love. So I called it. There's a lot of movement on the masculine side, a desire to come together and connect and heal. Final outcome for the masculine is the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands is an expansion, seeing things from a higher perspective, which is great because he, now he's out of that cloud. You know, the clouds have, are clearing. Um, he can see his way clearly. He has a direction that he's going in. The Grand Awakening card, he is reviewing his life. This is a rebirth, a restart. Um, it comes, you know, after uh, the death or the tower card, which is great. Um, so he's stripping it away and he's rising um, and creating, he realized he can create a new life. And so he's standing there in a very powerful stance next time. So what I see is maybe he missed an opportunity, but also he's planning for the future. Next time, I'm not going to do this or that. Um, you know, next time I'm not going to be swallowed in by fake people. Um, yeah, he really, you know, gets pulls himself out of out of the, the dirt, and um, he's starting anew. Final outcome for the feminine is the Five of Pentacles. So th this is all about feeling alone, abandoned, um, like you have no one to turn to. So it's kind of unusual to see there. I'll be in. Okay. 
wisdom about that so wisdom with the yin card um, there's a sense of her knowing herself a lot of self-love on her side as well even though there's this mental stuff that creeps in she knows who the masculine is um, and the five of Pentacles you know feeling that disconnect You know, I almost feel like that yin energy is warming um, the heart. Um, her wisdom takes away the cold, the emptiness. Um, and, you know, she's a healer. She's, she gives of herself so that others can grow, manifest. So I feel it as a, you know band-aid in a way you know healing that wound because the overall energy is forgiving and healing all right so i'm going to pull two final cards as message from the universe what final messages do you have feminine first Mermaid picking lotus blossoms, and the masculine is mermaid mother and child. So maybe the masculine's dealing with family issues, right? And it's affecting his ability um, to make decisions, but ultimately he sees things clearly. So I feel that he's dealing with a karmic partner possibly. Okay, so mermaid, mother, and child. Please tell me, mother, uh, what shall I become? Who should I love and lose before my life is done? Help me understand, mother, how to lead my life. I need to know before I become a weary wife. A young mermaid child shelters in a calm cove with her mother. She is cautious but perceptive to the words of the sage's advice bestowed upon her. So the meaning is heed maternal advice. Be attentive to advice from a trusted elder family member. Remember that fake card also came up. So a maternal figure from an older generation has much wisdom to offer when you need it the most. Be humble. Now is the time to listen and absorb. You may not hear what you want to hear, but rest assured you will hear what you need to hear. So listen with an open mind and with an assurance that years of experience lie behind the words of the wisdom you will receive. There's that wisdom card up there, right? So it's kind of pointing to, to the fact that, you know, the feminine with her wise voice or whatever, or opinions, is able to comfort the masculine, I guess. Okay, so be receptive to many venues. The advice may come in the form of a personal visit or unexpected call or any number of forms of communication. There's that communication again. While you should be responsive, do not actively pursue this advice. It must come unbidden if it is to be sincere. Sincere, fake, right? Ultimately, the, ma the feminine provides this ability for the masculine to hear through support, through sincerity not fakeness okay so the feminine got 25 so dreams of purest perfection power to exist in the light will I live in the world of I imagine or dwell in my own endless night there's a dark night dwell, being caught in this trap, retirement, looking to the future, foresight, will this happen for me? Or as a sanctuary waiting, to, destined to be my abode, will I catch the wild fever of wanderlust and journey down the curious roads? No matter which path I will walk down, whatever I find I must pay, however pain is required of me, my gods know I'm on my way. A lovely golden-haired mermaid sits upright in a pond covered with lily pads. She thoughtfully seeks out and selects a lotus blossom. A contemplative look is on her face. She 
is on a quest of faith, a quest of spiritual nature. So the meaning is you're seeking spiritual perfection. You're surrounded by options, mental, material, emotional, and spiritual. Now is the time to focus your energies and select a path to search for spiritual perf perfection. Uh, take your time and find the direction that is appropriate for you. Experiment with a new method of commun communing with nature or your higher power through yoga, meditation, or religious study. Find a group who is seeking just as you are and who shares your ambitions. This is a time to move forward with an open mind and curious heart. Do not prejudge the path others are on. Attend a service with a family member or friend of a different faith. Read spiritual texts that are unfamiliar to you and take the time to experiment and walk into new territories. You never know where your new path may lead you. So there's a new path there, a new opportunity, the Ace of Cups, something is ending um, and there's an opportunity there. So make your choices from a wise perspective um, and be open to the change. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, don't forget to comment. I love your comments, guys. All right, cheers.